Thank you, Mr. President. I want to uh, rise in my four minutes. I want to reiterate some things I've said previously. I've said previously that there are 18 elected officials in City Hall and everyone else who works in City Hall and somewhere are directly connected to the 18. And we have a responsibility, 18 of us, 17 council members and one mayor, to represent the citizens and try to provide city services as best we can that are high quality. And I sat around this weekend looking at reading the paper, reading online, and seeing the 60 Minutes um, story with Chief Williams. And I feel like we are failing in our responsibilities, the 18 of us, my opinion. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is that we took an oath right here, and that oath is to kind of do the best job we can to protect, to provide services, and to watch out for the care of the community. This police department issue has changed my perspective on what I'm doing for the next 1,170-something days that I have um, been elected to be in. Chief Williams said, when asked a question, the report found a pattern of excessive use of force. You disagree with that? He said, yes, I do. Mm. Chief Williams was then asked by Bill Whitaker, the, re the report found that it was systemic within the division. Do you disagree with that? He said, yes, I do. And Chief Williams is impressive. I've asked for him to stick around because I thought and I believe he has potential coming from Glenville and from the east side of Cleveland, but he embarrassed me Sunday night with that statement or that answer. After 600 cases reviewed, after we asked the Justice Department to come in town and after Obama's main guy over in Justice comes to town and tells us about the problems we have, 4,400 cases, of use of force and not one officer discipline. I, I look on the Cleveland.com series that they just started, you know, and they talk, I saw this super cop. We call him the super cop, he's retired now. Mm -hmm. I saw him with an African-American male on his knees, hands up, being tasered on his knees, hands up. Did not find a gun on him, did not find anything on him. Had to pay $100,000 for the super cop. Not a bad cop that everyone high hangs their hat on as mayor and everyone else hangs their hat on bad cops. The super cop tased an African-American male in 2010 while he's on his knees. And ironically, Zach, based on a dash cam he put in his car. So I'm not trying to do anything but apologize to the citizens of Cleveland, one of the 18. I'm apologizing for falling, failing to do my job. Because when citizens are treated that way, Tanisha Rice, Tamir Rice, T Tanisha Anderson, Tamir Rice, when citizens are treated that way, then we are failing. Now you can say I'm grandstanding 1,176 1, days. I'm going to continue to talk about it and bring better services unacceptable, no matter who is in front of Bill Whitaker. Unacceptable. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.